everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Gary Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as hydralazine. Its brand name is Apresolane. And before we talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find this information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how hydralazine works. We'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe hydralazine. We'll then discuss examples of dosing, and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects. So how does hydralazine work? Well, hydralazine is an antihypertensive agent with a mechanism of action that is not completely understood. It's thought to decrease blood pressure by exhibiting a peripheral vasodilating effect through relaxation of smooth muscle. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we see this medication used in the treatment of hypertension or high blood pressure. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe hydralazine, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to hydralazine or any other component of the formulation. As well, patients with coronary artery disease would not use this medication. Now what about dosing with hydralazine? So in the treatment of hypertension or high blood pressure, the initial dose would be 10 mg orally 4 times daily for 2 to 4 days. The patient may then increase the dose to 25 mg orally 4 times daily for the remainder of week 1. On week 2, they may increase again to 50 mg 4 times daily. For maintenance therapy, they would simply titrate to the lowest effective dose according to the individual response. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using hydralazine, so go over some of those here now. Some patients may experience angina pectoris or chest pain, while others may experience edema. Palpitations are a possibility, as well as tachycardia or a rapid heart rate. Some patients may experience diarrhea a loss of appetite, nausea or vomiting, as well as a headache. The more serious side effects may be hepatotoxicity or leukopenia. That's all we're going to talk about today with hydralazine or apresoline. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you find the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.